You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are listening to us, know one thing. We appreciate it. We are grateful to have your ear as we are avidly trying to raise the bar for drone pilots around the world. And, you know, there are only going to be some drone pilots who are going to be on board with that mission. And that's okay with us because those are the only people that we want to help. So, on that bombshell, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. The fire is engulfed, as uh, as many of you can imagine, uh, that we had a little hiccup last couple weeks. <laughs> I would call it a very strategic hiccup. Whatevs. Exactly, whatevs. Because, you know what, there's always, uh, there's always something to learn from situations, no matter what. There's always something to learn. Yep. And in this particular situation, there was a lot to learn. Mm-hmm. And on that bombshell, we are back. <laughs> yes, bombshell after bombshell yeah, and after wait, bombshell. Wait till you see what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but good. Nothing but love. Nothing but good. Let me put it to you this way: If you are watching this, uh, just know that only you benefit. So I think it's going to be good. That being said, we've got a great question today regarding the Inspire One X Five. Yeah, going back a bit. Uh, yeah. But it makes sense because that drone, I believe, is still available to buy in some places. And frankly, as it was the original Ferrari of drones and has the least number of restrictions compared to our modern drones, it makes sense why this question is being asked hmm. regarding inspection. So let's just get right into it. And uh, who should we give free advertising to today, Rob? Man, who's been good to us? There's, uh, there's actually a lot, a lot of, people of people that have been good to us. Who's somebody that sort of stepped up in the last few weeks and said, man, we got your back. Can anybody come to mind? I mean, I, don't know, I know a lot of people did. Three but. people come to mind. Rick Bullman, GPC. Mm-hmm. Haya. Drone XL, check him out. We love Haya. Poor guy just tore three ligaments uh, skateboarding in New York. I cannot even, I mean, number one, it's pretty cool to be skateboarding in Manhattan. But it is not cool to have it in the way that it ended. Feel so bad for him. <sighs> and we are going to be seeing him here soon, and now that's not happening. It sucks. It sure does, and we are going to have to pivot now, and uh, that's unfortunate because we really like Haya. Um, let's see who else. Uh, I want to give another shout out to Kara Murphy. Really loved mm. your article. Uh, I think it was in Drone Life. I can't remember where it was. Very good article about the state of the industry, like really, really, really good. And I hope you are doing much, much, much better. Hope the family's doing well. Uh, who else has really had our back and pretended like they didn't even know what was going on? Drone Deploy. Love you guys. Gosh, I love you guys. Um, <laughs> uh, Andrew Dennison, you are the man. Grateful to have you as a friend, as a colleague, someone to work with, um, because after this last month or last couple months, uh, not only with what's going on here, but with what's going on with the virus, it really has shown who your friends really are. Mm -hmm. And damn it, I'm going to work my ass off to make sure that those people who are always trying to do the right thing and support other people, that I am going to go out of my way to support only those people. Well, you only have so much energy and time to go around, right? So you want to uh, help people that... um, have their own good hearts and who in and of themselves want to help other people mm-hmm. and uh, who you can, uh, I don't know, respect the uh, the perspective of. So True. they are definitely those folks. Yes. I'd actually like to do this for more shows, but one last person that I'd like to say thank you to is uh, Richard. Remember Richard? Um, uh, gift bag Richard. Yes. He, he defended us and he came to our defense in a very compassionate way mm. and uh, greatly appreciate that. So it's really cool to see people who are truly strong on social media and who are willing to go against the tide because there's a lot of tides out there right now of hate and negativity and, and whatnot. And as I posted on my Instagram feed uh, just yesterday, that um, social media wasn't always negative. Human nature made it that way. So we are essentially all at fault. Oh man, that's, yeah, that's true for life. That's true for what, you know, name it, cell phones, drones, social media, 
whatever. We should also uh, shout out to our Jonio Elite pilots because they've been amazing. Um, you know who's awesome, who deserves a lot of credit is John Elliott. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Also, John's a good dude. Uh, I know uh, Josh has been doing well, and he's got a lot of trainings going on right now, which is is awesome that people want to do it. Um, also, a big shout out to Matt Schaefer. He's been writing a lot of text messages, and some I haven't responded to because they're so deep. It really makes me think about things. <laughs> so I actually really like those kind of text messages. Um, That's good, though, to yeah. take a little time to think through a response. I think there should be more of that. For sure. And I think, uh, like you said the other day, there's a lot of power in silence. When you're okay with silence in a conversation, that actually showcases a lot about you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that uh, that's very true. And I, I will say the very last thank you is to everyone who continues to push themselves, challenge themselves, and learn more. Uh, I'm talking about you, the pilots, the members of Drone U, the community. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm grateful to help you out. And I'm very grateful for the people who take what we do seriously and use it and run with it. And when it's happened so many times now that we know that we can actually guarantee, I would say with a strong degree of confidence that we could guarantee success from our training platform. Um, but it, it, all, it really comes down to the person. And, that's, and now I understand why there are arguments back and forth about our education system. So, and how do you cultivate motivation? How do you cultivate inspiration? But I think that the Drone U community has fostered what we started with the Drone U community and why it continues to be one of the only positive uh, places on Facebook. So... I just need to make sure that I get into that community because I deleted Facebook from my phone. So actually like two weeks before all the Shiza hit the fan, uh, <laughs> which was kind of irony and timing, frankly. But anyway, we are back. We are excited to help those of you who are looking for help, challenging yourselves to better your life and better the lives of other people. Because as a drone pilot, you actually get kind of a self-righteous enjoyment, Rob. It's selfish, hmm. but it's not. It's selfish because as a pilot, you get to be outside. You get to be in nature. You are not confined by the walls of your cubicle. You get to f really enjoy freedom and exploration. You get to understand what it was like to be Lewis and Clark. Mm. But at the same time, you also get to help other people, whether you're providing dollarized value, whether you're limiting liability, or whether you're simply just helping your clients' clients better understand their business. Either way, you get to help people. And in my opinion, that's life's greatest joy. So you really get to be selfish and help people at wow. the same time. Perfect combo. I'm not really sure that there is a, a better mutually beneficial relationship, frankly. That's why I think so many people want to be drone pilots. They're like, you know what? COVID has showed me I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and drone, drone jobs are uh, only increasing right now. So maybe I should get into that. <laughs> I will say if any of you are new here and you are listening to that, my one piece of advice is try to understand if you're a creative mind or if you're a technical mind, because you can be both, but you're obviously going to have a gift in one direction or the other. I would also say that I think the technical pilots who are able to be creative are going to be the best suited mm. to succeed in the, the most versatile for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in depth, right? Mm -hmm. Like depth in mapping, but also being able to understand iris and video so that if you get a client who's like, hey, I need video photos and a 3D model of this, you can deliver well on all of them. Mm, like next week. That's correct. It's taking all of it. I'm so looking and forward to that. And now we're taking that to a whole new level. <laughs> I am I can't stoked. Even... <laughs> and uh, we'll, be, we'll be sharing more about that coming up. Yeah, I actually wanted to talk to you about how to share that because that is such valuable info. I'm, uh, I'm not sure how to disseminate it. Yeah. So. Well, we will figure that out. We will. Um, but it's cool. Let's just say that we have figured out a way to create engagement in a conference that you would have in person, but do it in a virtual way and in a way that no one has done before. And frankly, I'm not really sure as to why. But as I think about it, it's brilliant. There's multiple reasons why, not the least of which is they didn't think about it. But Are you trying to say it's a lack of creativity? No, no. I'm just saying nobody thought about it. <laughs> I was not taking the negative tact. I, I was simply that. saying nobody thought about it. Well, for uh, any Or of somebody our... thought about it, but they just didn't quite know how, and so they're trying to figure it out. But uh, anyways. For any of our negative commenters, I just wanted to visualize to them that 
we're not that way. So certainly trying not to be. Anyway, yeah. and in a world where negativity fail. thrives, uh, it is a challenge every day. But you know what? We are going to help someone out today by answering this question. <laughs> yes, and we promise that we won't drone on and on each episode like we just did. But it's kind of fun. We haven't been here for a while, and mm -hmm. so hopefully we'll... want to give you an update. Update, and uh, maybe you'll give us a little latitude. I think everyone needs a little latitude or grace right now. I do. Every day. Never hurts. Hi guys, uh, this is Eduardo Delgado. I'm just uh, would like to ask a quick, quick question in regards to Inspire One V2 uh, Pro. This is for engineering application, not necessarily mapping, but to, to perform inspection buildings and to do thermography and also to take uh, photos from buildings and to do actual measuring of the roofs and structures. Will it be a, a good application? Uh, this will be with uh, Sunmoox X5 as well. And uh, I would just would like to know, I'm just a first time uh, drone user, if it would be the best uh, best platform for, for my engineering firm in order to carry out social works. Again, inspections and measurings of building for the solar industry as well. Thanks and uh, thank you. Thank you, Eduardo. Appreciate it uh, very much. Um, curious where you're at because I don't know. I always like enjoying, or I always enjoy hearing where people are from when they call in. And in this particular case, it's not telling us, but Inspire did One, you, so an old Did platform. you notice his R's, Eduardo? I definitely did. South American. I cannot do it, and I wish I could. South American, but I don't think it's deep South American, right? Like not Argentina, but maybe like Brazil. I'm just guessing, though. Interesting. Just guessing. I'm probably wrong. Anyway. Um, yeah. Doesn't hurt to guess. It doesn't. I'm sorry to interrupt your recap. Inspire One X5. He's asking about roof inspections, also asking about solar inspections. So let's go ahead and break this down really fast. Solar inspections require two separate cameras unless you're flying something like the X-T2, which is why so many people, especially in the industrial um, vertical of drone work, love the X-T2 is because you're able to get that, that EO or electrical optical, aka digital camera. You're able to get that those digital images at a decent resolution, but you also still have a radiometric thermal camera. And why is that valuable? Well, if you can just fly one time and capture two data sets instead of two flights or four flights or six flights uh, with separate cameras, you're saving a lot of time in acquisition. So if you're in a solar... Not to mention wear and tear on equipment. Usage of batteries, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, that is, yes, 100% on all those. Now, the X-T2 does not work on the Inspire 1. So could he fly the Inspire 1 for solar inspections? The answer is yes. I would not recommend the X-5, though, for mapping because there's always focus issues with that particular camera. And there's always workflow issues that just kind of arise, especially with firmware upgrades. Um, now, that said, could he use the Inspire 1 to conduct the thermal, or excuse me, the uh, solar inspections? I would say yes. And the way he could is, you know, we have the old XT, which is a radiometric camera. He can still acquire all of that thermal imagery. Mm. Now, can, can he map with the X5? Technically, yes. But from human to human, if you are not a fan of frustration, <laughs> anger, um, dilapidated workflows, inconsistency, just think of if you're old enough to understand how big of a headache the Pinto car was, just think of the X5 as the Pinto of drone mapping. So it's doable. It drives. It's just going to, you know, every other morning you might have to jumpstart the thing. Um, <laughs> or it might blow up on you. Start on fire. <laughs> that actually happened with an Inspire One on a Southwest oh. flight. So oh, anyway, gosh. that was more relevant than I think you knew. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely, if that's um, the case. But the Inspire One is probably my favorite drone of all time, just to, just to be clear. Um, it's a hard uh, battle between that and the, the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, but uh, man, that's a, an amazing drone. Can he map with, say, the X3 camera and have the XT X-ray Tango? Yes, he can. 
Um, roof inspections, again, I would steer clear of the X5, but I do understand why he may have gone that route because it's got interchangeable lenses, right? So if he wants to buy a mm. micro four thirds lens that's a 50 mil lens or a 100 mil lens so he can, you know, get super, super tight um, in imagery, that would make sense. But once again, um, he's just getting started, which is probably why he's in the Inspire One, right? Lower barrier to entry. So is it possible to conduct roof inspections with the Inspire One? Yes. In fact, it's probably a phenomenal drone to do roof inspections with, hmm. especially if you use the Z3 or the Z3 camera because that has zoom, but it's a 12 megapixel camera. Can't map with it, right? Because it's got that variable focal length, but it's a phenomenal drone for roof inspections because not only can you zoom, but with the eight, the H frame of the Inspire 1 and that low center of gravity, you just have an entirely or innate more stable drone. Um, so if, as a first time drone user, I mean, it's probably a great aircraft for him. Yeah. Um, that said, please do not forget about your compass calibrations, your, your IMUs. And if you're not familiar on how to do that, I'm pretty sure the don't crash course for the I-1 is still up on the site. It is. Yeah. 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 So check that out because we actually still have that class as detailed as the Mavic 2 Pro um, in there. And once again, I love my Inspire 1. I love Love, 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 love that drone so much. Hmm. It's the best drone to fly other than the Alta X, which is the king of queens. <laughs> You've very much been enjoying flying that. It's, it's so it's much quite fun. a sight to behold. Dear Free Fly, thank you. Dear Adam, you're the man. And I should have listened a little bit more. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but we're really enjoying uh, working on that drone. Uh, taking Paul it won't let me fly it. I won't let anyone else fly it. <laughs> Truth is, I don't want to fly it. <laughs> I literally will not let anyone else fly it because if you've ever flown a Cinewhoop and you understand the deviation between flight controls of a Cinewhoop or FPV and something like a Phantom 4 Pro, then you know how big of a jump it is to go from one to the other. And this is a massive Cinewhoop. Yeah. <laughs> it's and the crazy. Alta X flies like a Cinewhoop. And so you have an aircraft that has, you know, 33 inch props that also articulate in midair. And you have a whole lot of power. So, um, yeah, it's like, it's like as if a monster truck could drive around like a Lamborghini. So yeah. It kind of sounds like EcoBoost. I rest my case. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so uh, nice. I, so as far as roof inspection goes, Rob, Inspire 1, Z3, great drone. I would really steer clear of the X5. If he doesn't have a choice, I would map with the X5 and buy a fixed lens. That's going to help solve a lot of your problems. Uh, wider the better. Probably a good idea to have that 45 millimeter lens from Olympus as well to do those roof inspections um, on the X5. But here's the thing, Rob. The Z3 camera is $500. I was going to ask if prices had come down on those cameras. A lot. Yeah. And on the Inspire 1 itself. A lot. It's come down a lot. So. It's cheaper than a P4 Pro. No way. Yeah, way. Hmm. But ask me which drone I'd rather have. I'm going to guess the Inspire 1. The P4 Pro. Oh, shoot. Well, for mapping. Well, I do a lot of mapping now. So I bet, so it's funny because I had not flown the Phantom 4 Pro very much at all. And recently I've been flying it more. It's nice to fly. I really enjoy flying it. It's fun. Yeah. And I think that's why we're here, Rob, is because we love to fly. And we know we can help other people with something that we love. And mm -hmm. that's probably life's greatest joy. It is. And yeah. And on that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. <laughs> My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Catronio.